There was no way to save them. There never was. You are now in possession of information regarding the true nature and purpose of Project Zero Dawn, classified far above top secret. As such, we regret that you cannot be allowed to leave this facility. There are three options available to you at this point. Please consider each carefully. Trained counselors are standing by to assist you in making your choice. Participation. You will be assigned to a sub-project team based on the area of your expertise. You should be aware that the way forward will be difficult and the project's outcome is uncertain. You will be expected to work a minimum of 80 hours per week and your communications with family members will be strictly limited and monitored in real time. Upon successful completion of the project, you and your immediate family or two persons of your choosing will be transferred to the asylum sealed habitat to live out the remainder of your natural lives indefinite detention so wow these people that made it they they're all the only ones that were able to live live their life indefinite detention you should be you should choose should you choose to decline the participation in project zero dawn you will be confirmed indefinitely confined indefinitely confirmed <laughs> you'll be given 48 hours to reconsider after which your decision to refuse participation will be considered irrevocable Every reasonable effort will be made to make your term of confinement as comfortable as possible, but you will not be permitted to contact with the outside world, and death within 18 months due to the Pharaoh Plague is inevitable. When Zero Dawn facility is abandoned, detainees who wish not to opt for medical... Uh... Fuck. <laughs> fuck. I... Fuck. <laughs> Me trying to say some words. Euthan... Yeah, euthanize. <laughs> I've never seen it spelled. I mean, it's more used to saying euthanize. Will be released. Medical euthanize. Medical euthan euthanasia. Euthanasia. <laughs> I've never heard that said like that. The information you have just received, understandably, calls into question the purpose of continuing to live. If you would prefer to end your life at this point, pain-free medical euthanization euthanization is available a 48 hour waiting period is required during which time you may instead opt for participation or confinement please notify a counselor when you are ready to make your choice if you have any further questions jesus Interview. Of course I'll do it. To be given the opportunity to rebuild what I, uh, the, the, the damage that I, well, I, I don't feel worthy of it, but, but I, I will do it, absolutely. I want to stress that this was never about your culpability. Uh, it, it is to me. Dr. Sobek, Margo, they were smart to get out of Pharaoh when they did, but, but not one of us took it as a warning sign. It, it just told ourselves they weren't cut out for the BTRI cabals. That, that's... The, the, the better than Medical. rapid innovation. Medical uh, better at competing, better than the next guy, a, a better killing machine. <laughs> I think it's just amazing how a century and a half of science fiction did nothing to swerve our species from the path of doom. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that life. I mean, I, I will work hard, twice as hard to earn this for, for my family to have a place in Elysium. Elysium, I said that wrong. I never thought I that there could be uh, atonement. That is a once. If you're still not, yes. Last time opportunity. No, the inhibitors have kicked in. I can't feel the back of my tongue. I wish I could tell you I'd believe in this, but the damage is too great, too extensive, too complete. With all respect to Doctor Sobek's work at Miriam, no, no, life doesn't always find a way to keep going. Sometimes it never comes back, like Syzygy East. Like the Congo, like Timo, like us. That's our reward? A buried city full of terminal patients waiting out the clock? You grow old together with your loved ones in safety. I don't have loved ones. I suppose I could start a family? I'm afraid not. All inhabitants of Elysium will be medically sterilized. <laughs> A habitat capable of sustaining a starting base of 2,000 individuals for up to 100 years is a huge challenge, Dr. Alpert. If the population grows instead of diminishes, everyone will be dead inside 30 years. I knew it. I just 
couldn't bring myself to say the words. I'm sorry. Finish it. Medical euthanasia. I want no part of this. <laughs> Thank I you, lady. just <laughs> Thank want you, it Suzanne. over. I see. Protocols require a 48 hour waiting period, after which. What? Oh, it must have been corrupted. Yeah, like that. So I wonder if. If the All Mother Mountain. If that's where that was. I'm guessing that's where that is. And that's what we're trying to get. That's what we're gonna get into. Is he to make sure I behave this time? Security. For your protection. Would you like to discuss how you're feeling? Sure. I'll tell you. Surprised. No. Flabbergasted. Like my old man would say. Flabbergasted. That vein pumping in his forehead. I thought... I thought you people were just completely underprepared for a space flight project. But now I can see it's worse. Much worse. Sobek is a total fantasist. A, a dangerous fantasist. He's kind of blue skying. It's... Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry we wasted each other's time. I'm ready to leave now. I'm afraid that's not possible. <laughs> Everything you're talking about here isn't possible. I recommend you read the documents regarding your options. I've seen enough. I'm getting out of here. What are you... You know... Get your hands off me! <laughs> you blame him. Like, that would be... Crazy. Stranded shackles. Nice. What is this room? No, there's something else I saw that I never went to. Hold on, let me go back. I don't think I was just thinking about it right now before we continue forward. Was back here. I don't know if there's gonna be anything, but I mean, I saw this ladder. <laughs> yeah. Come on, you can do it, Ailo. I believe you can grab it. Yep. <laughs> I had to get in a weird angle right then. Aha! Uh -huh, I knew there was something. <laughs> I was like, I remember seeing a ladder. Dr. Sue There is some mistake. I don't understand why I was brought here. Why would you show me these things? I know that there's already a lot to take in. In the waiting area, I was seated with a Nobel laureate in biophysics and a monk, I think. He spoke neither English nor Mandarin. It is very strange. <sighs> and General Harris? What was he talking about? The robot swarm, the feral plague? I understand it is terrible. But it really cannot be stopped? Why tell us this? There are people in Shanghai. My friends, my family. They have joined Operation Enduring Victory already. It is for nothing? We will all die? We're going to be able to answer some of these questions. I just want to know why I am here. It doesn't make sense to me. You were brought here because of your skill set. No, that can't be right. I am an art historian. I know Dutch masters, Japanese calligraphy, uh, Gerhard Richter. What does that matter now? Hmm. Oh, maybe to compile all the information of like what the world used to be. They grab people like that, people that knew religion, people that knew art and history. All the great minds. The debriefing for presentation too. It is vitally important that candidates choose to participate in Project Zero Dawn voluntarily and knowingly, without additional coercion and without value judgment on the part of the counselor. Confirm for candidates that they were selected due to their skill sets and accomplishments. Emphasize that their dedicated uh, participation in Zero Dawn will increase the project's chances of success. Frame participation in Zero Dawn as an opportunity to respond actively in the face of overwhelming threat. Candidates may question the fairness of their selection 
Validate such objections as normal, even admirable responses. Emphasize the value of candidates' expertise to the future, not just of humanity, but terrestrial life as a whole. Likewise, candidates may balk at the morality of extending their lifespans of those of loved ones beyond zero day. Validate their hesitation, acknowledging that while the reward of Elysium is not fair, it will be earned. If possible, redirect their ethical misgivings towards greater commitment to the project. When candidates challenge the plausibility of Project Zero Dawn, permit them to review Dr. Sobek's presentation as many times as they wish and allow access to supplemental articles GOI through P20. Allow them to suspend the interview to fully process this documentation. A significant minority of candidates will elect for medical euthanization. It is important to receive this decision kindly and without judgment. Advise them for the 48-hour wait period during which counselors will be available to discuss their decision. Emphasize that euthanasia will not occur without repeated consent when the procedure is scheduled to take place. No one will be euthanized against he, his or her will. Candidates who elect indefinite detention must be informed that they have 48 hours to revise their decision, after which the decision will be final. <laughs> I can finish that one myself. Okay. That's, there's a lot of mushrooms on the path to this room. Saving these for the trail. Read. <laughs> Wait a second before we go in. Just open the door. <laughs> there was another place that I wanted to go to, but I didn't want to cut off the talking, and that was over here. Oh, yeah, no, I did go over here. Sorry. I get confused, apparently. <laughs> I'm taking in so much information, okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be confused. Intruder! Get her! Let's do this. Whatever you do, don't die now. Oh, it's water. I was like, what the hell just happened to me? The word of Got me. Is there another route? I've done this before. That hurt me. What the hell? <laughs> what did I get hurt by? Burn. Okay. <laughs> Let's take that. Let's grab not that. Thanks though. Appreciate it. <laughs> on the grandest scale but there is so much unfairness why was i chosen was it decided by committee by algorithm my family will be saved because i happen to graduate in art history is this right dr Souve? christina Souve? yes i met a man another historian his fields are bauhaus and the new materialists but he once attended one of my talks. Another unfair chance of all the many people in that auditorium that we should both be here now. And yet, I feel more accepting of my fate. No, it is not fair, not at all. But for the sake of my family, for the sake of art, art is alive. It must be able to speak from beyond history and echo in the future, not perish into oblivion. This opportunity, I must do this. I mean, I take the opportunity. That's I hashed it out with them what the point of Artemis was. I made it clear I wasn't on board for a global zoo. We haven't exactly proved ourselves to be great custodians in the past few thousand years. So the idea of a reconstituted biosphere, well, it's horrifying, isn't it? A complete horror show. We have no right to take a best guess at this stuff. But the alternative? Nothingness. 
Mm. For there to have been all this and then nothing. And with Charles Ronson running the show, I respect him. He's got a passion to him. He's hot-blooded. So I said, I'll do it. I'll put my all into this, literally. When the project is done, I'll take the medical option, thank you. Counselor said I might change my mind. I told him that he didn't know me very well then. For life's sake, I'll do the dirty work. But I want no part of this pathetic, attenuated future on offer. I'm an outdoors man. Never did like the feel of solid state lighting on my skin. And a wee bit of a claustrophobe anyway. <laughs> so he's gonna help out while also taking the other option. And that's pretty crazy. Now, those lame FBI and black what cats and Mockingbird back in the day, I enjoyed schooling them. But maybe I went in too hard on this poor counselor. She was cute and just going down a checklist after all. Couldn't expect her to see how ridiculous Zero D's ambitions are. God's own budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor. Palms up, honey. I'm just calling it like it is. Hey, look, Mom, I'm making nature. Now, if nature is so important, why not let nature take its course? Extinction? That's natural. Zero Dawn? No, ma'am. That ain't. Heck, it's so unnatural it'll be called an abomination back home, and you know it. That's why you're hiding it. Meanwhile, my little honey of a counselor, she's munching the inside of her cheek. Bad habit. <laughs> she chewed one of her nails, too. Just one. Not your day, was it, little sweet pea? Saw her quota slipping away. Said, I assume you intend to decline the assignment, Mr. Tate. <laughs> you kidding me? 18 months hard labor in exchange for 30 years lounging around Elysium watching porn? <laughs> Sign me up. Well, <laughs> Bunker and door. Shit. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was like, where am I supposed to be going? Get my mushrooms while I can. We know how to do this. Here we go. Another one of these. Need to find the right configuration. Let's see. Right or right, yes. Left up, left down, right. <laughs> left up. No. Don't teleport me. Left, down, right. Done. I should check the door nearby. What about this one, though? But I can't do <sighs> this one. Missing. Maybe yeah. there's a storage area nearby. Let's see what this says. Probably gonna tell hey. me. I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. There it is. Well, I'm just trying to yoink you. Looks intact. And then we can finally go across this, which I thought we were just going to use this to climb up here. Because that made more sense to me than going through the door that wasn't marked. You know, <laughs> to me it made more sense because it kept telling me to stay right here and above this is this. So, you know, I thought it made sense to try to jump through there, but you know, I should do the trick. whatever. <laughs> so they said it, they installed it backwards, so. Shit. Right, and then up, and then left, and then down hmm okay so what if we just turn this one upside down so annoying okay what about this that did it oh door should have gone. I don't even know what I just now did to see what lies beyond it I was just spinning them until they work because nothing was working 
I tried everything. It said he fucked up one. That was like four fucked up. <laughs> Why? What, what was that? I, I, I just don't, I don't care for that. <laughs> but that puzzle was messed up. Eclipse, they're here. Avoid contact. Avoid? Lines look good. Gaia, it's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? <sighs> so much for avoiding contact. Yeah, yeah. Taking that. Wait, is there more? Oh, I didn't even see this guy up here. For some reason, I thought there was only those three. I didn't think there was more. Run at him. Never even saw it coming. Nice weapon, though. Ow. That's the last of them. Nice. Oh, no. Wait, what? Oh. oh. How do I not have ammo right now? <laughs> Inconvenient timing. Okay, I just need to get rid of you and your strafingness. What? You're like, are you still in what earth? In what earth are you alive right now? <laughs> I'll be yoinking that though. You can't evade the shadow. Okay. Better fucking hide. Room's clear. Get out of here. For a moment, anyway. <laughs> like, come out of nowhere. You have to find Gaia. Hello, I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so, like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Gaia with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. A waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots, and not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Guy's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes, time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. Hmm. Which part? It's a little technical in places. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots it makes attack people? I don't think Perhaps it loves some forms of life more than others. The derangement. The machines weren't always so angry. True. Mm -hmm. Mostly they were docile until 10, 15 years ago. For years, Hephaestus has been forcing cauldrons to make aggressive machines. I've seen it myself, in the mm -hmm. cauldrons. Stalkers, ravagers, the Thunderjaw. How could it do that? And why? Why indeed. Mm. 
Whoops. <laughs> I opened it too soon. Wow, you weren't kidding about Gaia's pre predilection for animal morphologies. Sure, not totally unexpected given the rough nature terrain her bots will have to navigate, but I agree that there's something deeper going on here. Her designs aren't just functional, they almost feel, well, tributes is the word that comes to mind, as though she's already mourning their loss, and not just for disappearing fauna of her time, but creatures from the fossil records too, references to megafauna in some of her designs so cool. Well, whatever Gaia thinks of, Hephaedus will empower her to build it. I wish we could still be around in a century or two to see what she makes, Margo. So yeah, I noticed that when I first started playing the game, I was like, God, they look so much like animals, like, like real life animals. And I, <laughs> that kind of makes sense now. Oh, but my controller is going to die soon. That's how long we've been playing. <laughs> it's been a hot minute. I'm probably going to have to split this one into two. It's almost three hours long. <laughs> a little, a, from Elizabeth Sobek to uh, Margot Shen. Margot, if I doubted your br brilliance in the slightest, I wouldn't have picked you for the Hephaedus Alpha. You need to stop worrying about your age and communication style. You are who you are. Have confidence in yourself. You know what you're doing. Case in point, the latest draft of your plan for the construction and stocking of bootstrap silos to store raw materials is excellent. This combined with your design for the AM Foundry Core and the Foundry Site Selection Plan add up, a comprehensive, add up to a comprehensive plan. It's time to start construction. One detail, consult the Aomide a kilo before you finalize the silo inventories. Hafeda's first task will be to fabricate the robots that will construct the waveform broadcast towers Minerva will use to transmit the deactivation codes. So any exotic materials needed for those towers should be accounted for in the inventory plan. So we have to find these Minerva. That's like the way that we're going to be able to take this thing down. Let's see what's over here. Can I not climb up this? I thought they climbed down here. <laughs> How do I climb up there? That's the question. Alert. Area inaccessible. Elevators non-operational. Stairwells have collapsed. Okay. Great. Alert. Structural failure prevents access. Fine. I won't go in there. Is there nothing else in here, though? I get stuck on all these stupid things. Hmm. I don't think there. I want to go up there, but I don't know how to get up there. I thought there would be ropes that I could climb because they came down on them, but I was wrong. I've seen these shapes before. And cauldrons. But of course. The birthing places of Gaia's machines. Hmm. But why? But something's making them create what shouldn't be created. Aha, uh -huh, that's how we get up here. <laughs> Sneak a data point. Damn it. I can't get it through the glass. <laughs> I tried. Nah, uh -huh. I was wondering how I was going to get it. I think this is it. Elizabeth Sobek's office. Ooh, but it, more eclipse. Careful now. But I want to get that data point though. <laughs> Can I not scan it? I could scan through the other windows. <laughs> Guess not this one. How do I get to that one then? Oh yeah, I see them now. That's gonna be fun on the way back. Welcome to Apollo, the collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. 
Mm -hmm. I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million discrete data entries. 42 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish, and Arabic. Third, the transferal and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. And last, but not least, the development of the holographic interface and gamified curricula by which future humans will commune with Apollo, progressively unlocking heuristic learning modules, leveling up their knowledge and skills they will need to take control of the terraforming system. That is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed. Not just the preservation of the past, but the seed for the flourishing of a new tree of knowledge. Welcome, and let us begin. Hmm. Let's see. And the winner is a scapulated DNA. Encapsulated, not a scapulated. <laughs> Over the past 10 days, I performed an exhaustive review of data storage solutions, magnetic, optical, quantum, even the e eternity tech that FAS was shilling a year or so ago. But every other solution has one or more fatal shortcomings, too heavy to transport, too massive to install in the allotted space, too power intensive over the centuries, too prone to failure past 300 to 400 years, etc. Encapsulated DNA will easily hold the 40 plus zettabytes we are projecting for Apollo. There are still many details to finalize, of course. To start with, we need to select the inert material in which we'll embed the molecules, already testing 16 candidate materials, as well as design fabrics, the power system, and sealed reliquaries that will require the DNA at negative 18 degrees C for a thousand plus years. As long as I assure you that it didn't factor into my decision, may I confess that I deem it entirely fitting, indeed profitous, that we will be using every the very building blocks of life to preserve human knowledge from mechanized extinction it's not just ironic but heroic life as the hero beating back the forces of oblivion in any case much to do until next time that is pretty pretty cool I will also i will also agree <laughs> okay um anything else in here Aha, uh -huh, there's one down here. I'm fine, don't worry. Hollow. Over the past two months, the full benefit of our procurement of a copy of our Homer archive from the far zenith has made itself known, and as a result, all of Apollo's keys deliverables are on schedule. Apollo has already surpassed 40 million discrete data entries and continues to grow. The physical science modules are effectively complete, with soft science modules close behind. World history, cultural data, and media archives are also on schedule. Language preservation is wrapping up a bit ahead of schedule due to the falling short of our goal to preserve 4,500 languages. I suppose the tragic early loss of Papua New, New Guinea doomed the goal that from the outset, which attendant circuit curricula development about to begin speaking of the heroic her <laughs> curricula they are performing well in testing it with children and adolescents demonstrating high levels of engagement with the trust of the aristotle and 
aspasia personae. Personally, I find them highly engaging, especially when they debate. I wish half my professors had been so entertaining. Peace be with you, Semina. Interesting. Hmm. Damn. Oh, that's awkward, huh? <laughs> Anything else before I, I go in there? Oh, damn. That's a lot of them. Okay, we just gotta be quiet. You know? So we gotta take out that guy All first. of this lost. Okay. The ancient's greatest gift to us. Greatest? How about the fact we exist at all? To True. abide in ignorance is a curse, Aloy. You of all people should know that. Bold, I'll give her that. Striking at the heart of sun. No one saw anything. Oh shit. I didn't see that guy. Oh shit. Not this guy too. <laughs> I didn't see those two. something above. What'd you hear? Sorry, I didn't mean to. Hope you're doing well. What? Ow, what angle did you have on me? The sun can't save you now. <laughs> Clearly it can compared to you. I see a little head. <gasps> Ow. But stop stop moving! The last of them. <laughs> once more. What should have been a cave of wonders? Nice, nice. Let's see what this is. Dr. Sobek, please archive this testimonial in Apollo. Cross-reference to all mentions of my name and Operation Enduring Victory. My name is General Aaron Harris. From 2060 to 2066, I served as the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the highest-ranked officer of the United States Armed Forces. The tenure of my command included strategic planning and oversight of Operation Enduring Victory. A falsehood perpetrated on the civilian populations of the United States and other nations during the last 14 months of life on this planet. Before the Pharaoh Plague, I did my job and did it well. I was bold and decisive, crafty in political maneuvers. It wasn't an accident that I rose to my position and became the commander of the largest mechanized force ever assembled. But to what end? My only lasting achievement was the extinction of life on Earth. And my one redeeming act, if any, was to delay that extinction by days or weeks, by throwing more death at it. It is my hope that there will be no need for men like me in the world to come. If you are one of the people of that future world listening to this message, please note that I am sorry and that I wish you well. Sincerely, Aaron Harris. That would be so, Welcome so hard. to Hades. Zero Hi. Dawn's extinction failsafe protocol. The ultimate killer app. Now, I know what you're thinking. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. 
So why give her a subordinate function, only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, what the... what? Just plumb crazy, ain't it? <laughs> well, no, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere? That's a tall order. Tech smart as Gaia may be, odds are she won't get it right the first time. I mean, imagine you're Gaia. 200 years from now, and this new biosphere you're growing, it's all gone wrong. Alkalines are skyrocketing, coniferous forests eroding under the lash of superstorms that would have drowned Noah. It's chaos, spinning top that won't stop wobbling. Now what are you gonna do? Release phase one organisms into that hot mess? Hope their CO2 and methane can balance out what you got started? Hell no. What you're gonna do, Gaia, is step aside while Hades takes over and does what you're just too darn nurturing and life-loving to do. Which is burn that misbegotten mess of a biosphere to the ground so Gaia can start over. Okay, not burn, more like reverse terraforming operations and suffocate it. But you get the idea. Hades takes the biosphere back to zero. Square one, blank slate. Yeah. And then... I see. Only then does it hand the steering wheel back to Gaia and say, try again, old girl. And better this time, or we'll have to do this again. That's Hades. So. Pretty badass when you think about it. Extinction on demand. Death on speed dial. All I think that's the problem, course, though. <laughs> yep. Still, kind of metal. I think that's the so problem. Welcome to Where Hades. it went wrong. Welcome. welcome. To the void. That okay, makes a so lot of sense now. <laughs> if that's the original purpose of Hades, why does it want me extinct? We need more data. Well, good thing I have How all these data points. up in the wreckage of a pharaoh titan, getting worshipped by the eclipse like some kind of god? I'm learning as you are, Aloy. Keep searching. Mm-hmm. Noise complaints. Color me confounded. Lizzie Bashkor. Anyone who says the all TT codes to Bashkor is straight up lying. You know it. All Trav don't have no truck. Wait, who's hers? Trav. Ah, makes sense. <laughs> With commercialized razzle dazz. Nah, -uh, heck. I'd rather guzzle a liter of citrum run off than listen to my gray swarm for thirty seconds. Hand to God and swear on my mama's grave, and she was religious. Nah, that ain't Bashkor blast in the Hades lab, shaking the walls, rattling folks' teeth. It's death metal, girl. Classical music, 80s and 90s mostly. Got me some Dutch deathcore, some Japanese gore grind, some Swedish cannibal theme stuff, too. Stop by if you want to listen, or heck, just come within 50 meters of the lab. Ain't no Bashkor you'll see, or hear, rather, in the, sur in the screech that rends the air. And feel in the throbbing pulse on the floor, and walls and ceiling swallowing you up, like you was Jonah trapped in the gullet of gothic deathfish. Hallelujah. As for those requests to turn it down, no, no can do, Lizzie. This is how I code. Turn down my death metal? Might as well give up stimulants, chocolate malts, and industrial accident vids. Last I heard, we were supposed to be coding Hades down here. Am I really supposed to code an extinction protocol without death metal to inspire me? Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> He's got a point. <laughs> It's hilarious. <laughs> Whatever, it keeps you concentrated, right? <laughs> Tate here. Just popped three blues. I earned it. Finally figure it out. Goldilocks solution to Gaia's rather extreme executive authority. If that ain't worth 10 to 12 hours of dream time, what is? But this, every usurpation protocol I designed failed in simulation because it was either too hard or too soft. Too hard and it degraded the Gaia's score. core. Sure, it pried her figurative fingers off and figurative driving wheel so Hades could take control, but by breaking her fingers, sometimes her arms too, so that it couldn't fly. Everything depends on Gaia taking control back after Hades has done its business. So hard to find a solution that didn't leave Gaia any worse than for wear. Too soft, the Gaia only pretended to re relinquish control in simulation after simulation. Hades would take command of the terraforming system and reverse operations only to have Gaia lurk in the background, quietly re-reversing process and <laughs> falsifying telemetry to hide its interference. Sneaky. I swear, ain't nothing Gaia <laughs> wouldn't do to keep life going, even when it's just simulated plant life. 
turns out just right solution is to isolate Gaia in a protective code shell, preserving its integrity, then unseat it from the command position so Hades can slip into the figurative captain's chair and work its magic. Um, those blues are coming out strong now, so I'm not really describing it so clear, but pretty sure it will work. Yeah, those blues are plenty strong. Guess it's time to sleep and bed. I'll be back to it tomorrow, alligators. Interesting. So Hades wants to take over, but at the same time, they didn't want Gaia to not relinquish power because they needed that. Archive abuse. From Samina Ebdad. Eb, Ebda, Eb, fuck. <laughs> Ebanji. <laughs> Mr. Tate, this mail concerns Apollo's archive submission, your 60, 666 submission in five days, and oh, what a doozy. Despite earlier warnings, inappropriate materials you chose to submit, holographic remasters of acknowledged classical and ex extreme exploitation cinema, allow me to thank you on two counts. For giving me the pleasure of rejecting your submission, thereby consigning your favorite Eastern European torture flicks and their ilk to the dust heap of oblivion, it truly warms my heart to know that I have saved future humanity from the ordeal of experiencing not just one, but all 16 installments of Making Millipede. <laughs> Don't worry, Pasolini material was already has already been preserved. Extreme, perhaps, but art. For clarifying, a concept that has also has been so long been ambiguous and ethically fraught for archivists such as myself the definition of obscenity you have freed me from those subjective quagmire embodied in judge potter's famous utterance i now i know it when i see it thanks to you i can now apply a single objective criterion if Travis Tate submitted it, it's obscene. <laughs> Accordingly, I have directed Apollo staff to summarize and reject all of your future submissions, sight unseen. Perhaps you might invest time you would have spent preparing further submissions on, I don't know, your assigned work. We have a world to save after all, or the rest of us do anyways. <laughs> I wonder what would be on that. I hope we find out. Now I'm curious. It's like the only way onwards. I don't think I missed anything. Let's go. Whoa. Did I say to jump over this? <laughs> no. Oops. Chambers. Patrick Bogard Klein. The electronic chambers arrived two days ago. I've spent the last 36 hours examining them and poring over technical documentation. They're a revelation. Astonishing. I don't know what you had to give Farzina in trade to get these chambers, but it was worth it. In a single leap, their embryologists have vaulted past 50 years of technological shortcomings. The risk of ECMO resolved. Nutrition delivery resolved. Hormonal stability resolved. 12 other risk areas resolved. Before I examined these chambers, I considered the Odyssey to be a fool's errand. But if the rest of FZ's technology is at this level, well, a human colony around Sirius doesn't seem so impossible after all. Mass fabrication of the chambers will present a number of challenges, but I'm confident they can be resolved. I'm going to rest a few hours, then get back to it. Expect a fabrication plan within 48 hours. Damn, someone's working hard. <laughs> Only a few hours, jeez. Guess they're on a limited time. I want to press that, but I also want to make sure I get all of these. Are these what I what I think they are? Artificial wombs. Oh, Machines shit. to spawn a new generation of human beings. So they're all fabricated, which is mind blowing because. That's something we haven't figured out how to do. <laughs> Development of the artificial personae for cradle ser servitors, nurturer, and disciplinary healer. I knew I was kind of right when I said that what a zero dawn is just a way to cryo state, but in a way, it's kind of, kind of is. Continues at a good place. We are targeting turning. Point oh four. these constructs. This should allow low-grade empathy and limited improvision without undermining adherence to confided behavior sets. The stimulus-driven switching of personae, however, is proving to be greater software challenge than anticipated, especially concerning the our entrenched feedback loops between the disciplinarian and healer personae. I have 
also attached the reports from incident where a servitor running mother personate intervened on disciplinary servitor's behavior, a parental argument, if you will, amusing on first glance, perhaps, but deeply concerning. I have attached a comprehensive plan for correcting these interactive protocol shortcomings in just data corrupted. You know what's interesting about that? If I look just like her and I came from All Mother Mountain, I wonder if that means that I have no mother and I was created from that. If Aloy wasn't birthed like a normal human from this time would would have been. <clears throat> What's this one? Cradle sealed. Eluthia 01 was successfully sealed before the swarm advancing across Xinjiang province, province could detect it. Ping back from crucial systems are good for our maiden voyage a success. Uh, regards my disputes with the betas over zygote selection, of course. I understand we have limited overhead to run simulations of gene flow in, for our future humans, but we can all agree there is margins of refinement in future cradle populations. In addition to personally overseeing completion of, of Eleuthia O2 site inside Mount Muli, I will formulate and propose a modified zygote selection plan within a week. Aha! Uh -huh. Mm-hmm, the plot thickens. I'd have to leave something else behind. So it wants me to go up there, so that means I'm gonna touch this. I still want to touch this just yet. Let's do it. Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Brochard Klein, the Alpha in charge of this program. Now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome, not alter it. A snapshot of human genetic diversity, literally frozen in time. The genetic quintessence of our species, unmodified. Under my watch, our activities and initiatives will comply with the 2034 clone provisions and the 2048 rally accords. Now that may seem a quaint, even trivial concern to you in light of present circumstances, but as one of the authors of the accords, it is far from trivial to me. The practical challenges before us are staggering in scope and complexity, but not insurmountable. No. Global collation and provisional storage of zygotes, perfection of exogenic technologies, design and perfection of servitors to provide nurture and inculcation during early child development. All of these program components must and will proceed in tandem. To say nothing of the breakneck construction of cradle facilities at sites around the world. So, si vous êtes prêt, <laughs> let us begin. Let's do it. That's actually really cool, though. That's so interesting. <laughs> I'm so intrigued by everything. Cradle facilities. Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. Oh, Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. Oh, I think we know. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. That's where we're going. <laughs> Hmm. Nothing over here. Got to double check everything, you know. Is this her office? Uh, that's her office, isn't it? That's where I was trying to sneak my way into. <laughs> Looks like it used to hold something. Some component that got removed. <sighs> You will undergo a 
brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final statement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect distress. Are you all right? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Guy, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. There are billions dead in fear and agony. Oh shit, I didn't even notice. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? Like I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you, all things. Wow. That's crazy. It was like a real person. It almost felt like the, the mother of... That's what benefit from antilopony morphologies. Though caprid forms show superior load-bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek, as I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, I've gathered extensive data on the Quaternary Extinction Event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet... And yet... I find the loss of megafaunal species... ...unaccountably sad. That they passed forever into oblivion... ...causes me to experience... ...a grief... ...that is difficult to describe. Am I malfunctioning? That is... <sighs> no, no Gaia, you're not. This is good. It's very good. She feels emotions. She doesn't understand them though. That is crazy. Okay, I'm supposed to go into here, but let's see what this is over here first. Yeah, I tried to snipe this one through the door. <laughs> Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? <sighs> of course, Gaia, go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Pharaoh's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. There. Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, let's just do what it says. Jesus. I could not imagine having to talk to that guy. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, so we need to get into here. But she said something about... Oh, pry open. Nice. Convenient. You want all that? <laughs> Let's see. Let's do this one first. Artemis status. In come it's coming along, Liz. I'm positive about it. If those words can still mean anything, had my sleeves rolled up negotiating with frozen zoos and their samples. So many species trapped in ghoulish hologram dioramas, suspended in, in what-ifs. More than 14,000 that went extinct between 2000 and 2043. We started mapping out primary succession, selecting the pioneer organisms for a balanced and sustainable biosphere, microorganisms and insects, rabbits, hawks, foxes, wolves, thousands more that will have to wait their turn until a new generation can be entrusted with the duty of restoring them so they can return to a world this time. That this time will understand the concept of conservation before it's too late. There's already too many too lates. We lost a whole collection team du during the swarm breakthrough in, Mir in Myanmar. The samples were lost there, well, irreplaceable. But thanks to you, Liz, the circle of life will bend, not break. 
The earth was lifeless rock before, and someday it will be again. But not now. Not like this. Not on our watch. Bronson. Oh, let's do this first. <laughs> before we do that. Um, from Elizabeth Sobek to all alphas. All. Some terrible news. I'm afraid Far Zenith has informed me that the Odyssey mission has failed. Last night, telemetry indicated a catastrophic antimatter containment failure as the drive spun up to depart the solar system. The ship, its crew, its cargo of zyotes and seeds, its alpha build of Apollo were all lost. Zero Dawn is now the only hope for the continuation of human species and earthly life. We must succeed. Oh, wow. Damn, that... The Alpha Registry Master Let's File. See. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside All Mother. Open it. Go inside. Oh. And grasp the secrets within. Yep. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh, no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. That's but what, what I thought, kind too. of machine and why? Why were you created? It's ex <gasps> Maybe Gaia created me. Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. Oh, thank you, Silence. I really need a lot. <laughs> oh, no. Suitable death in mind for you, child. <laughs> Discovered the truth. <laughs> yep, I definitely discovered the truth, that's for sure. My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Even when Jaron was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Is that the voice actor? Until you or came along. Itachi? When I heard that you had survived, a doubt <laughs> took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? See that scar on your cheek? You didn't get to finish. Yes, I remember. He fought well. For a savage. His name was Rost. And he was a better man than you could ever hope to be. The better man is the one who doesn't end up with his guts steaming on the ground. <laughs> no. It wasn't him. I could have finished you before he attacked. But I didn't. This failing troubled my thoughts, haunted every step. It was only when I captured you, down in that place, that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length 
across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain. Meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Conversely, I was meant to capture you. Here. So that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything as it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained. He's definitely a puppet. <laughs> some destiny. You're following orders, not some grand cosmic design. Mm -hmm. You're a puppet. Yep. With Hades yanking the strings. A pawn pushed around by larger forces. It'd be laughable if there weren't so much killing involved. Mm -hmm. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature joined to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal sun king to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then open this cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crashed the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the East to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the sacred land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. Why butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus, such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. <sighs> so you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. Oh shit. I had a feeling I was gonna be in this. I had the feeling indeed. <laughs> I got this, no problem. Karja faithful, rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day, soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead, and Holy Meridian ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. 
Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! God. Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else could shadows such as these prowl in broad light of day? Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the Radiant Turan ordered many faithless crushed beneath the hooves of the behemoth. Mighty is the behemoth in the eye of the sun, but it is mightier still, infused with the power of shadow. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die. Let her be the first of thousands. You wonder why people think you're crazy. Do I have any of my weapons? God. I'll never beat that thing without weapons. My weapons are up on the platform. There's no way out of this way. Maybe I could use the strength against it. I've gotta get out of the way. That pillar's weak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another hit, and that pillar will come down. Oh my and god. How did it hit me? And my weapons did it. He did so much damage. He also hit me through the wall. I gotta be careful of that. I should try luring the behemoth into the pillars. It's down. Okay, we just gotta get my stuff now. Got it, one! Hell yeah. <laughs> Wish I chose a cooler outfit, but you know. <laughs> I do want to change my outfit though, because he is corrupted. So let me just uh, don't mind if I do. I'm just gonna go like this and then uh, like this, boop, and like that. Guess who got a weapon back? Now you're just a big dumb target. Come and get it. Ah shit! I need to open them. Those components on the sides of its head—they've got something to do with its lift attacks.
find it so hard to dodge that. And it brings me close to him, which is super weird. I just don't expect that to happen. <laughs> Damn it. He like moves so unpredictably. <laughs> like, where is he going? How did I not knock that back at all? There we go. Yeah, 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 he does so much damage. Oh my god, I was about to say that was going right for me. <laughs> that canister on its belly. Most important. Easy. Ooh. I did it. <laughs> yeah. Fear me. Silence! Oh god. Shadows. Kill her. Oh god, no. I had a feeling. Too bad one's not gonna <laughs> accidentally get stuck in something like the other time. <laughs> Guess who's on my side now? <laughs> Wasn't that the girl I helped that was in the stadium? <laughs> Finally! Oh my god, I've been wanting to meet him so bad. Yes! Hell yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> so you're here, really here. You risked your life. Of course I did. If you'd been killed, the Nora's sacred mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time then. Helis destroyed my focus and the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I've duplicated every data file you scanned. Oh, thanks. Installing that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. <laughs> I gotta like I, him after that. <laughs> I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. That's so cute, Maybe though. you'll even learn why. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. Wait. Yes? I got a lot of questions now that you're here. Um... Helis recognized you back in the Sun Ring. You told me that you'd assisted the Eclipse. Not that you knew the man who killed my... Who almost killed me. So now you know. The man is a serious threat. So let's do all we can to make sure that he and Hades don't succeed. Right. Since when can you override machines? Ever since you discovered the technique. I had to destroy a corrupted to obtain the necessary parts, of course. But your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through your focus. Truth be told, the underlying logic of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by Banuk shamans. Though, of course, Far more advanced. Great. You're welcome, I guess. How did you track my location when I wasn't wearing a focus? Really, Aloy? It doesn't take a genius to surmise that Helis would throw you into the sun room at high noon. I wore out two striders getting here in time, but I did. Now be on your way. Okay, I guess. 
I guess that's it. I still hope that you would stay. <laughs> yes, we do have I'll to go back. Way. They're under attack. To make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora Sacred Land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Well, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... Why do I bother asking? You're not going to tell me. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Karja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. You think of everything, don't you? Oh, One of us has to. Thank you. Aloy, when you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn bunker, I was needlessly cruel. For your sake, I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but a who. Yeah! <laughs> I hope so too, but I also thought exactly what he thought as well. I thought literally the same exact thing. Terror of the sun. Damn, that was crazy long. <laughs> that was so much fun though. I am just like, I wish I could play this all night. <laughs> The heart of the Nora. Trader's bounty into the frozen wilds. Uh, ancient armory. Just have to do the hunting wand job. We still have a, a lot to do. I do want to prioritize definitely getting back over here and helping them. But hopefully it's not too time sensitive. Um yeah, there's still stuff to do in here. Jesus. That was crazy. Oh my god. Welp, I'm gonna call it there. Uh, that was a huge... <laughs> I didn't have a chance to make an outro for the other one, so it's probably just gonna end. I was not expecting that to be such a big part that was insane holy crap we found so much stuff we found out quite a lot and we finally met silence which i was really really happy about we now know what what hades was made for man i just want to keep playing <laughs> that was crazy uh, i'm gonna call it there though huge thanks to all my patrons and i will see you guys in the next one